at the time when child rights activists seemed to be making strides in advocating the importance of girl child education. However, a shocking revelation that 30 pupils have fallen pregnant at Choma Boarding Secondary School is a setback on the welfare of the girl child. Following a parent-teacher association PTA meeting on 2nd November this year, parents were informed that for the past 11 months, 30 girls from the boarding school have fallen pregnant. Choma Mayor Jackson Makwamba, who has a child at the same school, which caters for both male and female pupils, is alarmed by the revelation. If they see my daughter today doesn't appear in class, that's why we pay school fees and there's communication, there's telephone communication on the same fee. We pay as parents. They are supposed to communicate to me. And a concerned parent who does not want to be named says he recently experienced the same situation at the school when his daughter was impregnated by a fellow pupil. We also went to victim support. We called one officer there who spoke to her to actually put her in good line. Not knowing that even when we were doing that, actually um, our, our daughter was already pregnant. This concerned parent whose daughter has since completed her education from a different secondary school has therefore age management at the school to tighten security and instill discipline in the pupils. When this reporter visited the school, the head teacher identified that Samuel Mdenda was out of town, but in a telephone interview, he apprehensively confirmed the development. Oh yeah, yeah, I mean the, the figures are alarming, even, even us at the school here. Yeah. Uh, we, we are alarmed by the figures, but the majority of those cases, like I'm explaining, really, I mean, these children are, are staying on their own, sometimes not even under the, the, the care of a parent or a guardian. One does not need to spend more than an hour to spot the lapse in both discipline and security as evidenced by the porous entrance to the school. And the question is, while most culprits who impregnated the girls remain unknown, could this be a sign of moral decay among young people in a town that recently became a provincial capital of Southern Province? Clive Kalunga, Movie TV News, in Choma, Southern Province.